this is quite a change of scenery, right? I hope the lighting is okay, I hope the sound is okay, but this is gonna be a test. So let's, let's try it out, let's see how we like it. But today I'm really excited to share with you my thoughts on the new Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium Over Red Perfume that I got to try out in stores, so it's in stores right now. And spoiler alert, because I wasn't too sure about it, I also got quite a big decant of it to test it out and see how I feel about it in the long run. So I did try this out a couple of days in a row to see how I like it, how I find the performance to be like, and if I think it's worth it. So first up, why was it so hyped up even before the release date? First of all, I adore the packaging. I adore the bottle alone. It's such a beautiful, deep wine red tone. But then it was hyped up because there is a cherry note in there. And we have seen so many cherry perfumes being released last year or the years before and they have been quite hyped up as well so i don't know i thought the cherry hype was over but then when this dropped or people saw it online they were still so hyped and same goes with me because a lot of the cherry perfumes being released um, are quite alike or in the same family and a lot of the same notes are being combined in those cherry perfumes so i'm still on the lookout for the note being present but combined with other notes if you know what i mean the next thing i was so intrigued was the black tea because i love my tea perfumes and i love black tea actually i have my black tea right here <laughs> with some milk and um, this is what i drink every single morning i love it i adore it so i'm always on the hunt for the next best tea scent but i told you in the new perfume releases video that i was very hesitant because there is black tea and the famous coffee note that is in all the black opiums both of those notes combined in this perfume with the cherry and then with the typical notes of jasmine, orange blossom, patchouli. And maybe we will go through the notes right now because there's only mandarin orange in there as well as a bourbon vanilla. And the main accords are sweet, fruity, gourmand, creamy and floral. So um, about the perfume. My experience was very different each day. I will tell you a little bit about me and black opium. I have never been a fan of the original, maybe because a lot of people around me wore it and I just smelled it so, so much um, like years ago. Um, similar to how many people now wear Baccarat Rouge or Cloud by Ariana Grande or so, uh, Sauvage by Dior or um, Aventus by Creed. That was my experience and to me it was just too much combined of very difficult notes. Like Orange Blossom for me is a little difficult sometimes. Same goes with Jasmine, uh, specific types of Jasmine that is, and also Patchouli. And um, the other notes I actually adore the coffee, the vanilla, and the citrusy aspects. But um, I think that's why it was always a little bit too much, too deep, and uh, I was looking forward to all of the flankers, but I have yet to come across one where I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be the one, or it's the one for me. I have the extreme, because so many people told me to buy the extreme, because it's supposed to be like a very black coffee perfume. But on me, it still pulls very black opium with just a hint of a darker coffee note than in comparison to the original. 
I also got the Le Parfum because I don't know if someone lured me into it with their reviews. I'm not too sure, but so many people um, have been telling us that the Le Parfum is not really smelling like big opium it's like a vanilla forward perfume and so different from all of the other ones and so creamy and whatever and it is definitely more vanilla heavy than the original or other flankers but still it's just the combination of those other notes that is so present that it's too much for me and i do not really tend to wear it that much. None of the uh, two fragrances I just talked about. So long story short, that is my history with like opium. But still, I'm so excited because something else is uh, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl is a perfume that I feel quite similar because it's the same scheme for me. It's a little bit fruity, it's a little bit floral and also quite sexy and deep and just not my perfume but I adore a lot of its flankers I as you know I adore good girl blush but I also like the very good girl and then another one I think that one is with cherry as well so there are flankers to an original perfume that I do not like that I do like or love or adore um, so, with that being said, I am filming this review now, but as of this very moment, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. So, I will spray it on again to see, because a lot of people say that to them in the opening, like the first minutes, it smells like cherry. And then the cherry note fades away and you're being left with basically black opium Le Parfum, which a lot of people say if you have the Le Parfum, you don't really need it. And if you don't have it because you don't like it, then you will not like it. I do feel the same way. It is not a very cherry heavy perfume. And unfortunately, I do not smell the black tea at all but I tested it out three times as I said the first time I smelled like a faint cherry note like a, ch a cherry liquor and then after a few minutes it just smelled like the Le Parfum version and that was it and I was quite underwhelmed but then the second time I wore it I smelled the cherry note a lot more and it wasn't the cherry liquor anymore. It almost smelled like cherry blossom liquor because it's reminding me a little bit of L'Occitane cherry blossom, which is one of my favorite perfumes ever. It's very faint though and very girly and fun, very playful and fresh and that's why I liked what I smelled the second and also the third time. I had it on in the evening yesterday, but I don't think I will smell anything now because I showered. And also, spoiler alert, the performance is not the best, unfortunately. The Le Parfum Flanker is quite a long-lasting perfume on me and also the sillage is quite strong. This one is not a weak perfume at all. It's just not as strong as others, especially the cherry note is detectable, but I feel like only you will really smell it. I don't have it on here. I have it on here. Yeah, all, also on here, like on this tissue, it's still not a very beast mode, very strong perfume. I will spray some more. So now we have about four to five sprays. Yeah, it's it's not very strong. Even when I spray it like freshly, it could be very strong, but it's not. But I like that because black opium is very strong. And to me, it's like a headache candidate 
because of that and this one is not for me it's a little bit more smooth and because it has this cherry creamy cherry blossom accord i don't get why people are hating on it so much because i feel like it's one of the most beautiful flankers that i know of of like opium and i feel like maybe if you let it sit for a little bit the cherry note will be a little bit more present and i feel like that note makes the whole experience a little bit more daytime appropriate a little bit more fun and flirty and fruity and I'm actually not too sure if I'm gonna get a full bottle because I do like it. So in here, I'm not too sure. I think this is like five milliliters. I will finish up this decant and then I will let you know how I feel about it still. Um, and also if I bought the full bottle, but what I like about it just as an end monologue i like that it's a cherry perfume that does not smell like all of the other cherry perfumes it's not being matched up with the same notes as every other cherry perfume but it's still present and it's also not as strong as the other black opiums which is nice in my opinion so i think the next days it will be a little bit more cooler here and then I uh, will get to wear this perfume a lot more and as I said I will let you know if I get the full bottle as of right now I do feel like it's a nice addition to the black opium family it still smells like black opium but it is different enough for me let me know what you think about this flanker how does it smell on your skin because I feel like this perfume maybe is very different on each of our skin. Maybe everyone will have another experience when it comes to the scent, but I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in my next one. Bye.